Mayor Tim Keller highlighted the progress made by the city to hopefully soon move into the yellow level. But he says to get there, everyone still needs to continue to do their part. As more people register to get vaccinated, Albuquerque city leaders say that is a step that will help move the county closer to the yellow. Our numbers are much, much improved. And so after falling back in uh, last fall, we really uh, are in a much better position now. Albuquerque and Bernalillo County are showing improvement. Department of Health numbers indicate there has been a steady decrease in positive cases. That number is a reflection, I think, of us doing all we can to reduce the spread uh, and also get tested. However, unofficial numbers show that the county is still a ways away from making that move. This is yet another reminder of how we need to continue doing all the things we're doing with respect to uh, the following the public health order. Health professionals talked about ways to support that goal, including more testing and getting more people vaccinated. You know, over time, we were able to do 150 at uh, the local Longfellow Elementary School and 50 more at the Westside Hospital. Loveless Medical System is partnering with the city of Albuquerque to coordinate the PACE program, distributing vaccines to older citizens who are vulnerable. While there are signs that the county's positivity rate is decreasing, the health department will not release official numbers until the 10th. Reporting in Albuquerque, Shelley Leggett, KOAT Action 7 News. <laughs>